Compelling evidence of the mega tsunami that was generated by the Burkel Crater impact event exists along every major coastline in the Indian Ocean. This is a segment taken from the full video, which documents the damage, deposition, and evidence left over from this mega tsunami event, starting from Indonesia and going to Sri Lanka, India, Pakistan, Oman, Yemen, Somalia, Madagascar, and finally concluding in South Africa. The link to this can be found in the description below. This is part of a documentary series that also has full videos of the impact this mega tsunami caused to Australia and Antarctica. The links to these will also be found below. If you'd like to see an extended version of this episode made, please click the like button to let me know. I'd be more than happy to dig into this more in depth, if people are keen to see it. So without further ado, let's get into it. Beginning in Sri Lanka, the land here is quite low in elevation, with much of it being under 15 metres in height. In theory, this means the mega tsunami would have cruised over here, depositing smaller chevrons, before finally colliding with this ancient mountain range from a continental abduction event, before losing power and dropping the bulk of the sediment. Now let's see if what I just said lines up. And yep, it appears to. Smaller chevrons over here, peaking around here, right at the point where the ancient mountain range begins. Which is, by the way, taller than the mega tsunami by about 50 metres. And the largest chevrons occur en masse here. On the eastern side of Sri Lanka, where the ancient mountain range doesn't extend to, we see chevrons that made it much further inland. And they are quite numerous and large in size too. We're in India now, and you can probably see the issue right off the bat. Much of the land has been reshaped for farming or for homes. Very little evidence of what was once here remains. Much of it is located on the western side of the southern tip, as the eastern side has almost been completely flattened out by humans. But in general, it received very little impact compared to the western side of India, and probably only had smaller chevrons. But over here, in between the human development, we see some large chevrons popping out. Now, unlike Indonesia, we do not have volcanism interfering with our ability to interpret the land. These are very clear chevrons, with a very pronounced V-shape and a direction that correlates to the impact event's epicenter. As you can see, they got stopped short in their ability to go very far inland by these very pronounced mountains. And thus, the wave was forced to head north and to skim along with the direction of the mountain range. These cities that exist here have literally been built on top of the evidence of the mega tsunami, much like Perth in Australia had been. And if we were to follow India north, we would see this evidence all along the shoreline. So this is the end of this video. If you'd like to see the full video, please do check the links down below for either it or the videos on our episodes that cover Australia or Antarctica. Thanks for watching.